YouTube, Salivating Metal here, and I got an email this morning from the United States Mint, which has various different news articles and things. It talks about the um, what the U.S. Mint does. They're finally doing what a lot of other mints do. They send out these emails, and uh, but this is the Coins Online newsletter for August of 2016, and uh, in it we have a surprise. A supposed release date for the Standing Liberty 2016 Centennial Gold Coin, um, along with the American Eagle 2016 One Ounce Silver Proof Coin, which actually I was wondering if they were going to release that this year, considering the demand for silver. But demand has fallen off quite a bit um, within the last month or so. So um, I guess I feel comfortable going ahead and releasing it, even though it still is late in the year. Uh, so anyways, so that's good news. We do have a horizon to look for for the release of the Standard Liberty 2016 Centennial Gold Coin, um, even though it is not on the official U.S. Mint schedule here. In fact, nothing for September is. They've not updated it yet. So I don't know if that's just a glitch or if that really is the case. Um, but uh, we shall see. Of course, we have the... Um, the silver medals for the standing li for the American Liberty silver medals to be released um, at the end of this month uh, for both the the West Point and San Francisco mints, and that is a silver version on a silver dollar um, on the on American Silver Eagle planchet, a forty point six millimeter planchet. These silver medals will be, but they will uh, um, be high relief. So that's going to be interesting to see how it looks because the uh, Given that it's one ounce of silver, that's going to be a pretty thin planchet, which means that the the deepest parts of the design are going to be relatively thin. So it'll be interesting to see how those turn out. Uh, anyways, back to the the official news about the the Standing Liberty quarter gold coin, which will be a quarter ounce of gold. If we look at the pricing matrix, to which I will post a link in the description below. We can see here that uh, gold is hovering around the 13.50 an ounce level, which means it'll probably be $497.50. If it goes down below 13.50, then it'll be 485. Let's just hope it does stay down to below that because that's more than double the issue price of the uh, gold mercury dime, which was issued at $205. Of course, that wasn't half the weight. It was a tenth of an ounce instead of a um, half of a quarter of an ounce. So it'll be interesting to see. And then, of course, if uh, gold stays where it is now, the uh, the Walking Liberty Centennial Gold Coin will, will be uh, $940. So uh, there you have it. That's the news of the day. Just got this, this in my email. Thought I'd uh, throw this video together real quick for my viewers. Hope you enjoyed it. I'd like to extend the multitude of gratitude to you all for watching and encourage you to please rate, comment, and subscribe. Yeah.